Okay guys, today a true special video. I don't know if you guys have heard it. Look at this. But I heard a couple other guys had had the same problem with their little SMA connect connector on their MD2017 just breaks off. And that is exactly what happened. Look. Here is the... That keeps it tight or, you know, it's got a rubber washer and a little metal washer and then this seal and this tightens up against this rubber washer and that's what gives it it's waterproof but actually what broke is this focus I can't get a good picture of it there you go you can see the little break point there and guys, there is not, I mean, the and the material that is holding this on, there is, it is so thin. It is about the thickness of a hair. So, if you, you know, turn your, take your antenna on and off a lot, or, you know, it, for me, uh, several times, and it's broke. This is a brand new radio. I've not had this a month. And I heard some other guys say, you know, they had the same problem with this, that it broke. But they were using, I believe they were using this antenna. And I thought, well, they've jobbed it on something or something. Because this thing, I mean, to tell you, this antenna is stiff. I mean, it doesn't take much to start working on that until it breaks it. So I put this on. I mean, guys, look, this is as flexible as a... As, yeah, I mean, come on. That's flexible as ever. And no, I didn't drop it and, you know, any of that. If I had dropped it, it would have broke the center piece. It would have just ripped it all out. But it didn't. All it broke was the threads. That's it. I literally got ready to set it on my desk and the antenna just went bloop and just fell off. I thought, what the world? When I first saw it, I thought, well, maybe it has come unscrewed because I thought there were more threads in there. And I thought maybe there's threads inside of this and it screws into place. So I thought maybe I can put it back on and thread it back into its hole and it would be fine because, you know, it didn't break the center conductor. All it broke is the little threads, but how it did it, I have a theory as to how these are, are breaking. And you can see right there, guys, there is no material there. There's none. There is nothing. I mean, how can you make such a great radio? And then, let's uh, do a piss-poor design on the SMA connector. And what I think is happening is, this is waterproofing radio. So when you think about that. You have to really crank, I mean, you have to tighten the piss out of this to get this to seal, to be waterproof. You have to put a lot of pressure on it. And when you tighten this up and you start putting pressure, it's pulling. It is pulling this up. So you, you're putting a, 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 an extreme amount of pressure on it when they built it from the factory and tightened it up. They don't... Of course, they don't tighten these by hand. They've got a machine and zip, 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 zip. You know, it's tightening them all up. And with that added pressure and then you tightening and loosening your antenna, taking it on and off. If you're like me, you know, I bring it in the house. Sometimes I take the antenna off and I'll hook up a different cable that hooks to my outside antenna. And I'll use it to talk on my local repeaters or something. But, yeah. A brand new radio, less than 30 days old. And guys, I'm not the first, I'm not the only, I'm not the only amateur with this problem. You know, I've heard, at least, I've heard of two other guys that I know of that's had this happen. One guy dropped his and broke it, and one guy did nothing but take his antenna off. And this came off with it. So yeah, there. If I, I wish I could get it, there, there's a, a little better shot. You can see up in here, there is some material, but they've chewed all that out, and they've left nothing but that little tiny piece of metal you see there, 
holding this bad boy together. That's it. It is junk. It is junk. I, I can't believe TYT did this. There's nothing there. There's no material there. I mean, guys, you know, I, I, I work every day. I weld, you know, I run a lathe. I do metal work. I mean, come on. I mean, my son could build something better than this. Now, I've contacted TYT. I sent them an email. And we'll, we'll see what they say. We'll see if they're willing to let me mail this to them and they send me a new radio or take it apart and put a new connector in it or something. I don't know. If they don't want to do anything, you know, I probably won't buy another TYT. So I already have an MD380 that I've had for about a year and a half. No problems. Still works like a charm. I'm going to CS580 and that's something else. Let me, let me show you what... Now, I'm going to tell you, the CS580 is just awesome, guys. If you don't own one of these, it, it's just awesome radio. They're not that much. 130 bucks. Now, look. Now, these people got smart, and they did it the other way around. They put the female on the antenna. So, the male is in the radio. So, there's nothing to wibble, wobble, and break. If the worst came to worst, what would happen is you would break it at the antenna and you simply buy another antenna and put on it. But in this case, your radio is trashed. Because you can't you can't do anything. You can't put an antenna on it and tighten it up. It'll just fall off. Or, I mean, <laughs> there's nothing there. So Connect Systems, they did it right on this one. As you can see, it's it's the same as the SMA, but it's just male parts on the antenna, so it just, you know, you screw it right in, and you're done. That, that's it. Now, I know, you know, Connect Systems don't make this radio. It's made by BFDX, which is Bell Phone D. I don't know what the DX is, but the BF is Bell Phone, and they make, it's just an awesome radio. It really is. I love it. I love, love it. But, but we're getting off topic. We're getting on to the 580. But back to the 2017. I absolutely love this radio. It is a five-star radio. It does everything that I need and everything that I want a radio to do. But this kind of concerns me a little bit, guys. I mean, I own a MD380. I've got a, a 390 around here somewhere. I've got a 2017, and I just ordered a um, MD9600 uh, that's been on pre-order for the last year because, you know, we all know the story on the 9600. It's just, you know, been promised, but not ever put into production until the last few weeks here lately. So I hope to have one, hopefully, in a few weeks, and then we'll, we'll get you a video of that. But there's just... There is nothing here. There is no meat to hold her. There's nothing. I could probably fix it myself. You know, I could probably take it apart and put something in there, but it would probably lose its waterproofing capabilities. But the thing of it is, I shouldn't have to do that. This is a brand new radio. It's less than a month old. I paid two hundred, uh, a little over two hundred dollars for it. I think it was two nineteen, and this is the problem I'm stuck with. So, before you think about buying a twenty seventeen, think about the antenna connector. So, I'm not the only one that that's that. You know, if it was just me. I would think, oh well, maybe I got a a bum radio, or maybe the machining on the machining on this SMA was a little too tight, and they took too much out of it, or you know, maybe they they tightened up the retaining washer too tight at the factory, or you know, I'd think something. But when it's multiple radios and other guys are having the same problem, then it kind of concerns me. Everything else about the radio is awesome. The belt clip, I mean, it's super strong. 
it's just an awesome radio. And now I'm like super bummed because you know now I will constantly worry if I get a if I get a replacement. I will always wonder when is is this one going to break? You know, and when is that going to happen? Maybe it won't. Maybe you know, there's just a few of them out there. But I don't know, guys. It it's really it's it's not made me mad. It's pissed me off. That's that's about the way I feel about it. I you know I sent TYT an email. We'll see what they say. We'll see what they want to do about it. If they want me to send this to them, I'll send it to them. Maybe they'll send me a new radio or put a new SMA or something in this one. But anyway, guys, that's that's the video for today. For now, anyway. I've got more videos to make. I had one guy ask me about the CS580, so maybe I'll just make a video on it. I'll just show you what this radio does and can do and all that kind of stuff because it is just a it is truly a sweet radio that is cool you cannot see you can't see the writing on the screen it looks blank through the camera wow anyway maybe I'll do a video on that I'll show you a little bit about this uh, I've got an open spot I've got some other stuff I've got a FTX 1200 and amps and radios and more radios and more junk and more junk and more junk and more junk i did some videos on the home patrol anyway if you guys like my videos and you want me to continue making them just um you know subscribe or hit that thumbs up button it lets me know that that you enjoy my videos and you like them and it doesn't it doesn't cost you a thing all you have to do is take your finger and go click that's it and it um it helps me out but anyway guys that's it beware of this it's coming to destroy your <laughs> to destroy your radio Anyway, guys, seven threes, and uh, drop me some questions below if you have any questions or if you need any help. You guys know how to get a hold of me. My call sign at Yahoo KG4VDZ. So that's it for today, guys. That is my TYT 2017 rant for today.